Hello everyone, in today's build video I will be showing you how I printed and put together these single shot Springer pistols that I call the Defender. Let's get into it. So here we have all our parts printed out and sanded and ready to be glued and screwed together for the finished product. Let's get to it.
Okay guys, so here we have it, the finished Defender pistol. It came out pretty nice, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I'm going to show you some of the details and features about it, um, give my sort of pseudo review on how it works, and then we're going to take it for a firing demonstration. So first off, here we have the name Defender, I don't know if you can make that out. And on the bottom here we have the name of my channel or logo. have a checkered grip rear and front sights. We have a blue tip. This can be replaced with an orange tip. has a pretty nice trigger pull on it. Two dart holders in the bottom for extra ammo storage. And it has a brass barrel for nice, tart, tight dart fit. In order to prime it, pull back the slide like this. You can see the plunger rods sticking out the back. That's how you know it's primed. And to fire it, you simply just pull the trigger. Like that. And you can reload another dart from storage. Now I did paint these stripes on, as you probably saw from the assembly portion. Um, they didn't come out super well because my model paint is super great at sticking to 3D prints. So I may not paint those on in the future, but I think it looks better if you don't look at it too closely. Now, as you see behind me, some of the other versions I have here. This is the first one I ever built, so Mark 1 kind of prototype. As you can see, it is significantly thicker than this one. And obviously I didn't like that, so I slimmed it down. Also the slide is a bit looser. It has a different spring in it, so it doesn't have as much power. Also, messed up the paint there, just a little bit. Very beefy prime. This one is the same as the blue one. It is just green. Not much difference there. Also, doesn't have any logos on it. This one, however, is very special. As you can see, it has a tactical rail on the top and the bottom. So, this means that you can mount any sort of optics or sights you want. This is, of course, standard Picatinny. You can mount sights. you also notice that it doesn't have a barrel tip on it. That is because you can take different muzzle attachments. So this is just standard flash hider. That's my favorite. I also have a suppressor, which actually decreases range and accuracy. So I don't really use that. I have this one, which is a muzzle brake, but it's a little big and clunky, so I don't like it quite as much. Now, it also has a rail on the bottom, which means you can attach a laser sight. It really helps you improve with snapshot aiming, so you can bring it up real quick and fire. Other than those features, everything else on this model is the same. Now let's take them out to the firing demo and see how they perform. So here we are on the range with all of our targets set up. They are set up about 12 feet away. And we'll be firing a variety of darts at them. Starting out with these standard inch strikes. Nothing. I'm aiming for that top orange cup. Nothing. And nothing. Unsurprising, as end strikes are probably the worst darts out there. Next up, we'll be firing these off brand waffle head darts. Not bad. Next up, we will be firing genuine Nerf AccuStrike darts. Oh. 
inconceivable. And there we go. There we have it. That concludes this video about the Defender Spring Powered Pistol. If you'd like to get one of these for yourself, they will be available on my Etsy store in a variety of colors and with an optional orange tip. Other than that, I would like to thank everyone for watching this video. As seeing as it is my first video, I would like to unofficially welcome you guys to my channel and I hope you stick around for more builds, commissions, replicas, maybe some reviews in the future. Who knows? I'll do a full video on what this channel is going to cover in the future. But until then, I will see you in the next one.